Hello everyone, this is Rin and in this tutorial, we are going to talk about auto resizing. You may wonder what do I mean by auto resizing. In order to explain that, I need to build some program. So let me do that first. As usual, I need scene. And uh, let's use stack paint. And import everything and put paint into scene and size would be 100 times 100 and then I'm gonna create a button so button button 1 new button let's import that and I'm gonna set the text let's say button and let's put button into the stack pane. So pane dot get children dot add and we can put button here. Oh and I forgot to set our set the stage so set scene scene and stage dot show. So I think it's ready so let's run this program and we have uh, button and notice the size of button it retains its size even though I'm changing the program size and suppose I want that button size to be changed according to the program size in other words I'm gonna make that button to be able to resize automatically before getting to the point it is good to observe the size of container uh, to do that use set style method that set style and FX border and color and black and let's run this program as you can see the size of stack pane is same as program size in this case that implies we need to bind the button size to the stack pane and to do that, you need to call the size property uh, such as preferred width property this one and then bind to the stock pane so pane that uh, width property so this code means we are going to bind the width size of button to the width size of pane in other words the button will try to have same width size as the stock pane and let's run this program and as you can see the width size of button is binded to the stock pane and let's do the same thing for the height so button one that preferred height property and bind to pane that height property and let's run this program and now the button is automatically resizing and let's create another button so button 2 new button and button 2 that set text and let's call it test and I'm gonna create a grid pane so grid pane grid new grid paint and import this and I'm gonna put grid paint into the stock paint you can put container into another container it's like putting in a box into another box so um, instead of button 1 I'm gonna put grid and let's put button 1 and button 2 into the grid paint so grid that add row and row index would be 0 and button 1 and button 2 and I'm just gonna delete this one and let's see uh, what will happen and as you can see the button 1 I mean the button 2 is, is suppressed by button 1 since we don't like suppression let's give button 2 a minimum size 
and to do that you can use set min width method and let's put 50 so it means the button 2 will have at least 50 width and let's do it for uh, height so button 2 dot set min height and put 50 here so button 2 will have at least 50 height and let's see if it works and as you can see the button 2 has a minimum size how about we also bind button 2 as button 1 so let me delete this and copy this and then change it to button 2 and now button 2 is binded to pane so let's run this program and we have evenly distributed buttons by the way uh, we can set the maximum size so let's do that button 2 dot set max uh, for example height and let's put 200 so it means the button 2 will we're not gonna exceed 200 height so let's check and the button is resizing and keep expanding its size but at a certain point the button 2 is no longer uh, expanding because it has a maximum height and that's it for this tutorial hopefully see you next time